time for an Elias music fact on 1027 The Peak. Did you know that Queens of the Stone Age are actually the world's most underground rock band? And I'm being serious with you on this one. They once played a show 2,300 feet below the Earth's surface. This was in an East German salt mine. And what's really interesting about this is besides the numerous trailers and a couple of short videos that were posted online, the show has actually never been released. So who knows, maybe in another 10 years we'll finally get to see it. Here's one off their new album, Queens of the Stone Age. It's the way you used to do. Dance Joy with Saturday Sun on Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. My name's Elias, and it looks like there's a 40 to 60% chance there are being showers this weekend for the May long weekend. But you know, the weatherman gets it wrong all the time. I wouldn't trust him on this one. Island in the Sun, it's Weezer on Vancouver's Modern Rock. New Robert DeLong featuring Kay Flay on 1027 The Peak. I'm Elias, the intern. And over the last little while, I've been working here with The Peak and our uh, country sister station, JRFM. And I should probably preface this by saying I'm by no means a country person at all. Before this gig, I hadn't even listened to any country. Well, I'm on the airs the other night and uh, a guy requests a song. So I play it, don't think anything of it until I realize it's a... Uh, it's a Christmas song. Yeah, I played a Christmas carol on the radio in the middle of May. Whoops. Good thing I wasn't fired. <laughs> but what are you going to do? Sir Sly with Hi on Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. My name's Elias Whitfield. And later in the hour, I'm going to be giving you the heads up on how you could win passes to Skookum Festival in beautiful Stanley Park. But first, it's Gorillas with Feel Good Inc. <laughs> Arkells, that was their brand new song, People's Champ on Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 Peak. I'm Elias, and those fellows are half of what you need to get your hands on a pair of passes to go see Skookum Festival in Stanley Park. That's going to be going on from September 7th to 9th, and all you got to do is when you hear the Arkells and Killers back-to-back, could be in any order. You text in to 102 777 with your name followed by win. That's all we need. And, well, we're giving away passes. That's all you got to do. Scook them a day in May. Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. And I'm so pumped that these Canadian rockers were able to score Album of the Year recently. It's Arcade Fire with their newest song, Creature Comfort. It's on The Peak. Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. My name's Elias Whitfield, and I recently just finished the Anthony Kiedis autobiography, Scar Tissue. I'll sum it up for you. He does a bunch of drugs. Yeah, it basically gets kind of annoying by the end of it. This is one by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's Can't Stop. It's on The Peak. Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. I'm Elias, and uh, everyone's getting excited about the May long weekend, but personally... I'm getting excited for the weekend after because that's going to be when Sasquatch is going on down in Washington. And I know uh, Jason Manning, the midday host here, he's going to be going down with uh, some promo people. And I'll be heading down myself. So if you know any bands that are playing down there that we need to check out, let us know at 102 777. I'd like to know your opinion. These guys, they're actually going to be playing on Saturday night. It's Modest Mouse with Dashboard on Vancouver's Mountain Rock. Well, it would have been in Babylon. Here's some brand new music on 1027 The Peak. It's Saturday Sun, Vance Joy. Ooh, Saturday Sun. 1027 The Peak, I'm Elias. And earlier I was asking you about your awkward first date stories. And I had Jared texting in to 102 777 saying, I once went on a date after being recently single. Everything was going well and we ended up going back to her place. But once things started to get heated, I called her my ex's name during sex. Not only once, but also when I was saying goodnight to her as I was leaving. She never called back. Yeah, that one kind of doesn't surprise me, man. Maybe next time, remember her name? <laughs> Here you go, it's Lost Cause, Black Pistol Fire. Arkells with their new tune, that was People's Champ on 1027 The Peak. And don't forget, when you hear them play either before or after The Killers, you could win tickets to Skookum. You can head to thepeak.fm for more details. Billy Talent, Freda Heights, it's on Vancouver's Modern Rock. 
Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. My name's Elias, and I got a music fact coming for you after Grant's on. But first, Nirvana in Bloom. It's time for an Elias music fact on 1027 The Peak. Did you know that on this day in 1980, one of the grandfathers of modern rock passed away, that being the lead singer of Joy Division, Ian Curtis, who hung himself in his kitchen in Masselsfield, England, at the age of 23. Curtis had the Iggy Pop album The Idiot playing on his stereo while he left a note that said, at this very moment, I wish I were dead. I just can't cope anymore. This story is a very, very tragic one, but it's also a super interesting one. So if you get the chance, I suggest checking out the biopic called Control. It's all about his life, and it's super interesting. Plus, the killers actually do some of the music for it, so you can't go wrong there. You just heard Cake on Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak, and Vancouver's making headlines today as we become the very first city in the entire world to improve a comprehensive zero-waste strategic plan. Basically, that means that the city is banning single-use straws, foam cups, takeout containers, and I mean... Soon we won't be able to get oil from Alberta, so I mean, at least we're extra environmentally friendly. <laughs> Glorious suns, everything's gonna be alright, it's on 1027 The Peak. Well, I spend all my money on do what it takes. New Imagine Dragons on Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak, that was whatever it takes. Now, have you heard the new Dear Rouge album yet? Because it's so good. This is their new single off it, Live Through the Night, it's on The Peak. Renegades by Ex Ambassadors on 1027 The Peak. I'm Elias, and you hear that there's a new Zombieland movie currently in the making, and it has all of the original cast. I don't know if I've ever been this excited for a sequel in my entire life. I just really hope they don't mess it up, because let's be honest, Hollywood is pretty good at doing that these days. Revilus, Wish I Knew You, it's on Vancouver's Modern Rock. Ba, 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 ba. Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. I'm Elias Whitfield. And do you ever try to trick telemarketers? Well, my stepdad once told me a story about his encounter with a telemarketer that's just pure gold. So this guy phones in saying that uh, he has a virus on his computer. And he responds by going, oh, no, I have a virus? I was in a hot tub with another man the other night. Would that have been how I got the virus? <laughs> the best part, too, is that the guy didn't even hang up on him. He stayed there for a total of about, like, 45 minutes and just kept on going on. Now that deserves some respect. Foo Fighters, it's on 1027 to peak. Radiohead with High and Dry off their 1995 album, The Benz. It's on 1027 The Peak. And this is some brand new music for us here. Sit next to me. It's Foster the People. We want to know what you think. Text in 102 777. It's on Vancouver's Modern Rock. 1027 The Peak. Elias here. And last month I was on air with morning personality Tyler. I was filling in for Lynch. And he had something to say about my pants. Your pants might be the tightest pants I've ever seen on any human. They are women's jeans for a reason, man. Do you actually wear women's I jeans? I 100% wear women's jeans. For the fit? For the fit. They're so dude. can we introduce a $500 fine for uh, pants that are too tight? No. I Please. feel like the Peak Studio has that. I don't know if you saw, there's a bylaw sign right outside the door. That's already been a thing, so. And it's okay, Tyler. I get it. You can't pull off the pants like I can, and I'm not going to judge you for that, but uh, just haters going to hate, I guess. 1027 The Peak, I'm Elias, and I don't care how many albums these guys released, this song will always remain the greatest. It's Sail on Vancouver's Modern Rock. It's Portugal the Man with Feel It Still. It's on Vancouver's Modern Rock. Time. It's time for an Elias music fact. 1027 The Peak. In 1993, Smashing Pumpkins released their breakthrough sophomore record, Siamese Dream, which featured the acoustic ballad Disarm, which you may remember as being a very mellow, moody song. But the tune actually comes from a much darker place in reality. In an interview with lead singer Billy Corgan, he said, I never really had the guts to kill my parents, so I wrote a song about it instead. I don't know how bad his parents really were, but I will say uh, Christmas dinners probably were super awkward after that interview. Uh, don't you think? Smashing Pumpkins, Disarm, it's on the peak. 
It's the Subway Check It Out song. My name's Lies Whitfield. You're listening to 1027 The Peak. And you might remember this band, Bastille. They released that song, Pompeii, ages ago. You gotta let us know, though. Text into 102777, letting us know your thoughts on this song. It's brand new. It's quarter past midnight. It's on The Peak. It's the quarter past midnight. Vancouver's Modern Rock, 1027 The Peak. My name's Lies Whitfield, and I'm out of here for the night. You gotta remember, though, it's all about the music, the history, and all the bits in between. Till next time, City in Color. Save your scissors.